For six editions, the Aspen Romania community has nominated individuals, stories, and organizations for the Aspen Leadership Awards. These are individuals and organizations which, through vision, innovation, dedication, perseverance, and duty, have become values-based leadership role models. With everything that they do, these leaders create meaningful social, political, economic, and cultural change. We are deeply honored to recognize them and their contribution to a good society. Now we will formally begin the award ceremony. The Serge Moscovici Values-Based Leadership Award is presented to a public leader who has excelled in his field of activity by constantly supporting and promoting national and universal values. Serge Moscovici, for whom the award is named, is a part of the story of the Romanian diaspora. He was one of the founders of social psychology and was the director of studies at the School of Advanced Studies in Social Sciences in Paris. It gives me great pleasure to again invite to the stage President of Aspen Institute, Romania, Mircea Drana, to present this award. Half of my hologram was already consumed by my previous intervention. This is the larger version of what we have here. But let me tell you one thing. When we uh, decided to bestow every year the Leadership Award to a prominent leader whose impact on Romania's development, whose legacy and love for this land, for this country, is paramount. When we identify friends of Romania who are not Romanian-born, not even exposed to our culture, irrespective of how great our culture and our history might be, I don't think that this award could fit better, could represent better, could be bestowed in a more profound way than for one of the best friends of Romania, Günter Krichbaum. Romania is a country that has been blessed and cursed by vagaries of history, of geography, and geopolitics. I'm afraid this is not about to end. And when you find someone who has invested a huge amount of affection Affection, this thing which is more precious than the rational thing that Germany or Europe might need Romania. At that time, you have to be really grateful that Romania has earned such wonderful friends. Of course, as I mentioned, Wana is probably part of this, of this um, tremendous dedication. Ginter is a politician. He's a chairman of the European Affairs Committee in the Bundestag, as I mentioned previously. And even if he's, of course, partisan in his politics, because that's what politics is about, he has managed to be a wonderful and dear friend of Romania. And for that, Ginter, it's my privilege, it's our honor, and I think it's a sign of modest and enduring respect for what you have done, you are doing, I'm convinced you'll continue to do for this country that has adopted you, not giving you a wonderful wife, but also giving you a friendship and our admiration. Our Leadership Award goes to Günter Griechbaum, the friend of Romania.
Mr. President, dear Mircea Joanna, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, first, I want to say thank you, not only for the invitation, but also for the award. It's a great honor for me, and it will enhance my engagement for your country, which is a lovely country, by the way. I was asked by the Aspen Institute uh, for my speech to mention how to preserve the values that are at the core of the European construction and the importance of the Romanian-German relation and third, the way in which bilateral cooperation can positively influence the future of the European Union. But don't be afraid, all this within five minutes. So, I think first I want to congratulate. I want to congratulate the Aspen Institute for this 10th anniversary because Aspen built a lot of bridges around the world and it is one of the worthwhile think tanks worldwide and we appreciate also the recommendation of Aspen. Second, happy birthday also to Romania because we will celebrate also the 10th anniversary of Romania joining the European Union. And I know people are sometimes impatient, in Germany like in Romania. But when you look here on the further developments and the last developments of your country, don't look only on the film, compare the pictures. What I mean, take the picture of 2016. Take then the picture of 2006. Take the picture of 1996, 1986, 1976. Take only these six pictures and compare it. And then you will see and recognize the contrast between these pictures. And take this development, take this history, and now make the project in the future. And how will be the shape of your country in 2026, 36, and 46. And I think also this development is not a coincidence. Sure, Romania was also and always a core country of the whole region, a core country of Europe. But imagine all the, also the situation if Romania had been a founding member of the European Union in 1957. How would be the shape of your country today? So I think when I look in the future, and especially what the European Union can give as perspectives for the young generation, it is also worthwhile to be optimistic. Because this European Union is founded on its values. You mentioned it, Nietzsche. The values like freedom, values like rule of law, legal security but also democracy, freedom of press, that are our core values, which are not seen so far more in the eastern part of Europe as a value. Take Mr. Putin. For him, these values are more a threat because democracy is perhaps not always in his interest. So you can also see that are our challenges which we have to handle. And we have crisis round about Europe round about our countries, like in Ukraine, with the Russian aggression towards this country, like in Syria, an awful war, with all the consequences, with all the impacts, take only the refugee crisis, which it had to handle last year. But one point is also very clear. Europe is not the problem. Europe is the answer. Europe is the answer of globalization and to globalization. And this we have also to explain better our people. And then I'm really confident. I'm really confident that it might be happen 
to convince people better than today about the deeper values of the European Union. Once again, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for the award. I feel always in a very warm atmosphere here in Romania, when I think also to the meetings with Michaela and your family. And uh, so let me say, I am not pessimistic about the future of Romania. The friendship between Germany and Romania is a very historical one and deep one. And it's also our obligation to continue not only this friendship, because it's only one inside the European Union, and it's our obligation to shape this European Union for the young generation for a better future. So thank you very much once again. Enjoy the evening because I'm one of the guys who is standing between the lunch and um, uh, uh, between the dinner and uh, the speeches now. So I will let the floor for the others. Thank you very much once again and have a nice evening.